stream. Feels kind of weird to do it without Tree, but he is helping our friend on the job today and I am working on the bus and it felt like mine as well. It's kind of colder, I'm kind of going slower, so I'm like, all right, it's a cool day to be distracted by the live stream and maybe show people a little bit of what I have done so far. It's crazy we've never gone live on YouTube before. I feel like we are very late to the game with that. Hi, thanks for joining. What's up? I'm in the bus. So we just put these in yesterday, which is really exciting. And I'm actually putting this, this is not actually our counter, but we placed it here right now for the time being. It came out it's so beautiful. See that green? I'm so happy with it. Tree like sanded the fuck out of it and stained it and linseed oiled it and massaged it with wax to oh hi olivia <laughs> thanks for joining oh it's so nice i wish uh your uncle is here to say hi too he's uh helping my friend on a job right now but um yeah so it's crazy i'm going live for the first time without him on our youtube channel but he was like do it everyone's going live these days so i was like all right i could just leave it live while i'm working on the bus but first i'll show you guys what we have so we put these in yesterday this has not been shown in any youtube video yet but it's very exciting so we're gonna have this is like we're gonna have cushions obviously on top of them um and then a table in the middle and then it'll be where like the table can go down and uh, be like a guest bed. I'll show you. So, you see? I don't feel like that. I should get, I'm gonna go get the tripod. And I'm gonna show everybody how that works. But I'm really happy. I copied a design that's been in one of our friend's buses and it's like really simply built. Um, so there's a lot of storage and there's not like unnecessary lumber in the way um so that's nice and yeah i could actually even bring the cushions in from that other little bus and show you guys hi guys thanks for joining i don't know why this feels like more intense than going live on tiktok and i feel, I feel like because usually on tiktok it's like just random people watching me and then now i'm like okay this might be letting people i know know that I am live. So this is where I cut everything out here in the grass, which is a little annoying because everything gets wet. Um, and it's been like n trying not to just buy everything we need for the bus at once because then I have to work around it because everything has to stay in the bus at night or it gets rained on. Um, so it's been like a lot of doing whatever I can do each day, even though I might not have all the materials to do everything. Like, you know, I'll have to pause a project because I don't have the materials I need to do like the next step for that project. Um, but it's fine. All right, I'm bringing my tripod in so I can show you guys. It's a very common thing that people build in like everything. I actually, I'm proud. I'm working on a YouTube video that's like a tutorial. because people build these in like every school bus van conversion tiny house because it's just like this a really smart use of space you get the two benches and the table have i ever taken a carpentry class no i haven't not even like a day one maybe in like high school but i don't think that has applied at all i started actually at tree's brother's house he wanted like a little uh fence built and so I built him a like mini fence. Uh, and then I was like, I like doing that. And then I started building a lot when we lived at the garden, which is a commune we lived at for two years that you can see videos about on our YouTube channel. And then I built the van. The van was like the first project where I really like learned how to use tools, I guess. And now this is a bigger one where 
And it's not really Tree's thing, but he's like editing the videos, sanding, staining. He's more into like design. So he's like putting lots of love into like making sure our table is like so beautiful with the stain and everything where it's like, for some reason I find it hard to take the time with things like that. I like to just build and see the results like happen, you know, so we just have different minds. So we do different things in our place. But it works well. I'm so happy we got the stove mounted. That felt so good. It was like, hell yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's just up on some wood, but like, I don't know. It was like, wow, okay, that's really where that's gonna be. Framing feels cool, cause it's like, okay, then I can really imagine like, you know, the layout, like we can, I can see what it feels like if I'm sitting in this bench over here and I have a counter over there. Just open my oven right from my bench. Uh, oh yeah. So now I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Uh, we're gonna wait until the baby's born to find out. I'm pregnant also, if anyone's just joining in and doesn't know our story, we to show our lives too, but yeah. Pregnant, clothing. That's another reason it's a nice to take a break today because I've been really going for it. This is our beautiful table. Came out so nice. I'm so happy with it. And it'll be like this once we get the table leg. It'll be like up on the table leg here. And then you could, the table leg will be like removable so that then you put it down like this. The classic. Blah, blah. And then you lay out all the cushions and you have an extra bed. So that's exciting. That is done. And it's like a usable thing like that. Like I can sit down in there now. Which is great. So I'm happy about it. But right now we're keeping this over here so we can use it as a little counter, which is also nice. Then I can put stuff on it. So today maybe I'm gonna try to think about how we're putting in. So we have we're gonna have a shower, we're gonna have a hot water heater. Um, water tank, all that. So a couple things to do with that. Getting, uh, shower the water tank out. Because it has a little piece of plastic in it. And then um, I can start piping it all, which is really exciting. That's like just not even, I don't think it will even be very complicated. It's, it feels big because I've never done that much plumbing with like a water pump and all that stuff before but it seems pretty self-explanatory See if I can really do this, if I can build and leave it live at the same time without being too distracted that I don't actually get anything done. This is our wall. On the other side of this wall is the kids' room. The floor is done for us. That's pretty much it. But we'll probably just like put the crib in here.
for joining. just gonna attach because our seats happened like over the heater uh, we had to attach a vent so that the heater could vent through the seats so I bought these little vent things that will attach to the sides of the little benches that I need still feels like there's a lot to do but we've made a lot of progress we got the bus like end of january so it hasn't been two months yet we're also away for like a week and a half um and we got counters we got frames we got a bed we got you know bed frame is really close shower is really close like in a week that'll be like framed out and uh we'll feel i think like we're pretty much almost done so I think that's why I'm chilling a little bit too is like I, I had like a couple really active days because with the pregnancy it's like some days I'm like I'll have four days where I'm just exhausted and I can feel it like growing like it's like my stomach is like trying to like stretch and it's like so and I can show you guys my bump it's slight but it's definitely different than my stomach usually looks. That is not how my stomach usually looks. And it's firm. And I feel it like, usually at night, like stretching out. Um, and so I get like random days, like four days in a row, I'll be so tired and I can't build it all. And then uh, I'll have like three days of like, boom. And then I'm just like, all right, gotta get done as much as I can in those days so that I can like, be knowing that I'm making progress. So I had a couple days like that, and now I feel a lot better. And I feel like I can like relax a little bit uh, with taking a rest day and not, you know, feeling like stressed about it because, um, yeah, like we're doing fine. But it's scary because as I get more pregnant, it's already hard to like bend over and pick shit up. So it's like, I'm, I don't know if like she will just have to walk around with, with me and like hand me stuff and stuff because like it's so that's the most annoying part is like I can like you know plan it and I can screw it together and I can whatever but just like walking around bending picking stuff up is like exhausting so I'm like trying to I don't understand how people like how do women work construction and mechanic jobs and stuff like that and be pregnant it doesn't make any sense to me because it's really difficult to do all this stuff when you're pregnant <laughs> it like doesn't work that well together um so that much stuff it's so funny how people are about storage and I I guess like it is I'm gonna be happy that we have a lot of storage but like that much stuff so it's kind of funny um because I'm already like wow we could fit like almost everything we own in like these two chairs like we're good like but all right let's go let's screw that in
can start a poll on here. Let's do boy or girl. seal it with something but I can't I don't know everything we seal it with I don't like the color anymore so uh, we did it because it was natural but then it's like we might have to just spray not natural stuff on top of it to seal it or just deal with the fact that it rubs off on your fingers I don't know uh, but this is a little area I hope it's non-binary oh, sorry I should have given an option for that I guess I should have said sex of the baby. Because the sex is known. We don't know the gender, really, until it takes on a, a gendered role, if it does. But, yeah. Oh, and I also did, the, I'm, you know, I was proud of this. I got these little, these little lights in there. Oh my gosh, why can't I? There we go. And once I do my electrical, which is really overwhelming, and I keep trying to tackle and I keep getting, I mean, I, I'm good. Like I have almost all of it. Actually, I have questions that people can probably answer. And one of them is just, um, can I just randomly switch the size of the wire in the middle of the line? Like if these are like 18 gauge and I have 10 gauge, can I just connect that to that? And what's that gonna do? So if anyone knows the answer to that, let me know. Um, because I watch a lot of YouTube videos, but I don't, there's just some questions that it's like, I still keep, it's hard to get a direct answer to because it's all so specific on your setup. But anyways, I'll have a little light switch here and then piping for the shower will run through here. And it's going to be so cool to have a dope little home. You can travel and go from community to community and you'll manifest it all in the way. Thank you so much. I really, Sometimes I like forget that like the end result of this project is that I'm gonna have a house. Like I just don't even think I'm just like I'm like go go go. And then I'm like wait a minute, like we have our own oven. Like we've never had our own oven before. We've never had our own space the entire time. Like besides like in Mexico, maybe we were like renting a place for like a month and that felt like our little house. But you know it, it wasn't like we built it to our you know we haven't had I haven't rented an apartment since college which was 10 years ago um so or eight years ago I guess since I graduated and then I lived with seven other people so it's like um when is born I'm, the baby is going to be born July 22nd well it's the due date obviously that's not guaranteed but um we're just going to wait until the baby comes out Let's see what the baby people say. Everyone says boy. Everyone I know is having boys, so that's why I'm like, well, statistically, there's got to be a girl in somewhere. But also, maybe we'll just have boys each other. So this is where the shower is going. That wall is actually going on the side of our bed, not there. It's just leaning there right now. This is all our wood that's just in the way, but there's nowhere else to store it. Here's our 75-gallon water tank that's going to go under our bus. I mean, under our bed. I am 29 years old. Turning 30 this year. That's why I'm getting my life together. And I'm building myself a house. And I'm out what the fuck to do to plan a little bit for the future. The garden, did the garden ever open back up for visitors after that hit? Piece? The garden is never actually really closed. Maybe there was like a couple months where it was closed because of all the craziness. Um, but it's never like, you know, it, it opened back up. We just didn't really announce it. And then, and now it's totally open too. But it, you know, the rumors of closure were good for like just limiting people. But now I don't think there really needs to be a limit of people. I don't think they're getting flooded with people over there. 
Um, so you can go to the garden. There's, it's not like closed um, and it's not, I don't think there's too many people going. There, they want more people to come to the gathering and stuff. Um, so garden's open. You hope it's a girl, Olivia? Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't really, like, imagine it. I don't really think that I have any clue what it is, honestly. Um, I don't, like, if I had to guess, I really would just be fine. Do we plan on going back to the garden? Um, not right now. We, you know, we spent two years there. Um, we, like, started when we first got there. It was, like... You know, we're checking out different communities, we're going to different places, um, and then we just really liked it there. We stayed, we learned a ton, and you know, but I think like we are really passionate about making videos, showing intentional communities to people, um, and we did that for a while at the garden. I think maybe we told enough people about the garden as we ever possibly could, so mission accomplished, I guess. But we so now it's like. Um, there, I think there's more to discover for us, um, and we're just going to keep, keep on going and checking out different places and yeah. Um, and there's more, you know, right now we're living on a dairy farm and now I'm learning how to make mozzarella and I'm learning how to milk a cow. I'm like, you know, like there's, I, uh, we kind of, I feel like learned a lot at the garden, but we can learn more by keeping on going to other places, you know? Um, and don't ask me if we're going to start our own community because that's a very silly question um, because community is something that you build with other people, not on your own, and then you ask people to come. Um, that's amazing. Where is Tree? How's he doing? He is helping our friend on a job today. They're laying tile, so that's cool. Um, yeah, our friend just got hired to do it for somebody and uh, wanted help. And so Tree went to go do that, maybe make a little money, and then, yeah. Um, I know, it's funny that I'm going live without him. I felt weird about it. I was like, I'm going to go live on YouTube for the first time on our channel without you. But he was like, everybody's going live. You should just go live while you build all day. But I still feel like it's TikTok where I like, can't stop talking or it's going to get annoying. Maybe I should just let that go and continue on with the thing I was going to do, which is attach this to my seat. Let's see how much I can drop this. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Okay. Cool. Oh, wow, you guys are still here. Thanks for watching. <sighs> Any other questions? Are you guys people that watch the TV show we're on? Are you just people that found us, found this video, and started watching me do this.
I found you guys when you went viral on TikTok. Well, that's a lot of years ago. You're a long time person then. It's so funny, these people that, that like, yeah, it's interesting. All the different chapters. That was crazy. Now, I just had my biggest TikTok video since that crazy time, just the other day. It felt weird. I was like, wow, that hasn't happened. Because I kind of stopped for a while after that. I was like really freaked out. Um, and I was like scared to be at the garden because so many people had our address and we were there and it was just really freaky. And so I like freaked out and like quit TikTok for a while. And I still get anxious sometimes when like something is starts get like catching speed on TikTok and like, uh, you know, suddenly getting a lot of views. I'm like, wait a minute, did I say something I didn't use? Like I just get anxious that like it's going to like cause some shit storm again or something. Um, but everything's been pretty good for a while, even with the show. There's a lot of hate that came from the show, but, you know, it's all fine. Now it feels very over, which feels nice. And we just keep going and doing things. Ugh. Look at that. I did something while I was live. Installed that little vent. to show with my husband we have a school bus we are almost done with the shower and bedroom to do in our deck on the roof cool i'd like to do a deck on the roof i've heard that it makes it harder to get insurance and they gave me six month insurance and, I, and they had to send a picture of the bus so obviously i sent a picture of the bus when it was empty because we hadn't started building yet and i was just like it's just a bus i'm just gonna drive it or whatever but I feel like they gave me six month insurance because they're gonna ask me again to send a picture in six months. Um, so I'm a little nervous to do anything too crazy in that time. Um, so that way hopefully we can still get insurance. But I I would love to do a deck on the roof. That would be so cool. Yeah, uh, so our solar panels are in New York too. So that's another thing. We're gonna go to New York and I'm gonna be very pregnant. So hopefully we're gonna find some friends to help us up the solar panels because I'm not going to be able to climb on a roof. I need to hire an electrician. I guess. I probably should, I guess. I feel like that's cheating and I gotta do it all myself, but you're right, it's dangerous also. Just like a friend that knows a little bit about electricity would be great. I'm obviously behind on all the happenings, but what happened to y'all being with the garden and doing the commune living? Um, so, uh, we we're part of that tv show um at the end of the tv show you see like this conflict happen um and that whole experience was really draining on everybody and honestly even before that i think it was time for us to take a break from the garden and then i think that the tv show kind of escalated everything um and now we've taken like a year break from the garden or something um just because you know it's hard to live with people community's hard like you know it's beautiful but it's hard um and it's rewarding and it's amazing but it's really tough and i don't want to give up you know but sometimes it's like you can only sit in so many conflict resolution circles before you're like you know maybe this conflict just needs time you know like a breakup like like you know you can try to work it out with your partner and try to work it out but sometimes like it's like all right we need space from each other and i think that's what happened i don't think that it's anybody's fault i think that we just all needed space from each other um specifically like me and tree and then other like people long-term members of the garden so we decided to go because also it was a good time for us to go we went to nepal we traveled we we were also like you know, do we really want to live here forever? No. So it's, it, we'll go, we'll, you know, it's a good time for us to move on. And, uh, and also we want to check out other communities. There's like so many out there that all work differently. And maybe, you know, what I liked about the garden was how unstructured it is. Like some other communities, it seems like it works really well and they have like appointed roles and like, you know, paperwork and that. Um, and they're doing really good, but I like get so turned off. I just, I like the like chaotic anarchist kind of vibe of the garden where it was just like, we don't have, I don't know. It was just so like, you know, 
not stressed and not like textbook like politically correct in every single way of doing all your paperwork and getting all your insurance like, it was just kind of like we're just doing it we're living we're just living simply and i liked it and it worked really well for me um but maybe we'll find another one that is cool like yeah um and maybe even cooler in other ways or maybe we'll see that structure works good too because i totally understand why communities use rigid structures also because sometimes things get confusing and messed up and you fight more than you have to when you don't have structure, you know? I don't know. I could talk about it forever. On our podcast, I talk about community a lot. You can hear all the things I have to say. Yeah, that's our dining room table uh, and we'll also be a guest bed. So I showed earlier in the video, but uh, yeah, it's like a two benches and the table will go in the middle. Um, that sucks. There were haters. I want to have my own off-grid community and compost and live on the off the land, but I can't do it on my own. Yeah, that's like the see. There's like a catch twenty-two in that. It's like everybody wants their own community, but not on their own. But you know, so it's like, I don't know. I'm broadening my idea of what community can be. I think that, um, like, I've seen some really functional communities that are like ten houses on on. A big piece of land and they get together for potlucks and they homeschool their kids together and they grow food together but they have their own houses and it's less like of like the hyper communalism of the garden i like the hyper communal because i'm really social but it's like you know also uh it seems like it's very sustainable like the hyper social also is like then you hit breaking points like a relationship you know whereas like if you're living in different houses, maybe it's like you can do it for longer because you're not so close to each other. Um, so I don't know. I'm still like learning, I guess. But um, I guess my point in saying all that was I'm starting to think that, okay, so if 10 houses sharing land is a community, then what is like a block, like a street with like 10 neighbors that share a bunch of tools and even could share farm animals or just like share with each other you know like that's like really what makes the community is the fact that it's like oh the milk from my cows like you can drink it and oh you have extra of that cool i'll take that and that's what makes the feeling of community not like the fact that you all have to share the land together you know like land there's what are the different borders like you can do it you know in any way and maybe um maybe that like that framework is fine and maybe that's why we're trying so hard to find community is because that's actually more of how it used to be like what people talk about when kids used to play outside and, da, 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 and we trusted each other and we've just like lost a lot of trust and so we stop sharing like the same way we used to you know and so then all of a sudden we're like i need to leave my life and move to a commune and then that doesn't work but it's also like maybe just promoting share vibes amongst your neighbors uh, is also a cool way to do that, you know? Um, which is a new thought. I just, from our last podcast, like the end of it, I was like saying that and then I was like, I did not think this is where this is gonna go. It's that I was like, maybe it doesn't need to be a community at all. But I really was like, wow, you know, like maybe I've been so idealistic and like kind of preachy about, oh, everybody's gotta go to intentional community. It's like, what am I really advocating for, you know? Um, do entries seem like you did the most work there? At, no, a lot of people were putting in a lot of work. We just filmed ourselves the most. Uh, that's how your dining room table looks as well. Yeah, I was telling people that the, the bench and table format is, uh, yeah. I, I made a really good tutorial video that I'm excited about posting because I was like, this is something that everybody, and I copied like an exact design in a bus that's like also parked on this land that had like a professional build in it. So I was just like, I'm just gonna buy the exact same wood and do it the exact same way and then I'll know it's stable. So I made a tutorial because I was like, this is the one thing I'm doing that I know will work out. How are you doing the middle of the table? Okay, I'll show you.
Strong Towns on YouTube has a similar idea to what you are talking about with building community where you are like in a neighborhood or on a street. Seems sustainable and like a good idea. Yeah, I think different things work for different people, you know? Um, and, you know, I, I like, like my friend just had to buy a cement mixer, right? Because he's building a house for his mom in his backyard. And it's like, He's going to use that, and then it's going to sit in his shed for, like, years. And so it's like, how, like, should we alert all the neighbors that we have a cement mixer now and they can use it, you know? Because it feels so stupid that anyone else in this area should buy a cement mixer. Obviously, we could all share that one. Probably uh, 50 houses could share that one, like, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think that it's not very productive for consumerist capitalist culture to be sharing but I think that uh, I don't know like I, I didn't grow up I didn't like the neighborhoods that I grew up in it was not where it was I mean you know there's nice people but it's not like that common to be like of course you can you know of course you can stay at my house of course you can have that of course you know just because that hasn't been promoted that much you know um, and maybe that's all I'm really getting on Okay, so. Can you see? Live stream. My phone died. But then I went inside and ate some coffee. Now I got it plugged into the laptop, so I can't keep unplugging it. Wow, everyone thinks it's a boy. All right. Cool. That would be fine with me. So if that person is here by any chance, yeah, I will show them. So it's two benches, we're gonna have cushions, and the cushions will be like the size of this and then going up. But then once you lay them all out, they'll fit into a bed form. And then we'll take the table. So I've seen other ways that this is done too, but our table, there's just a lip in between the two seats. So the table just sits on those lips. And the I just made that lip with the three quarter inch plywood. I cut a strip, I rounded it so it's not too pointy. And then, um, yeah, it's just gonna rest on those. And that's how it works in um, my friend's bus and it works great. So I was like, all right, cool. Uh, simpler than I thought. Oh yeah, that's too bad. I lost all my, my people that were watching me before. Maybe now I'll get back in the building and just whoever wants to watch. a lot of my tools to this job that they're doing today. So. I just got so tired all of a sudden. Sorry.
process is supported to it. chose to do instead of doing like a shower change the hot water from hot to cold I just have a um, remote that I set the temperature at and then that's the temperature that comes out of the shower which I find it's just easier especially because you don't want to make your walls that thick so the average like shower diverter thing is meant to be set into a two by four 